So anyway, these two mild-mannered detectives are sent to rescue the princess and, and prevent the world from destruction from Dr. Wang. It's kind of demented, actually. <laughs> How did you come up with the story and the idea? Just playing around with ideas. You just gradually came up with the idea. You know, from other ideas, you get other ideas. And it, it started as a horror movie, and it ended up as a comedy, so. I understand that you changed the script. Well, not even the script, really. You changed the idea as you went along. Yeah. Uh, as we shot, we would come up with different ideas and different gags, and we would try them, and if they worked, I, you know, I kept them in the film. I understand it takes a lot of time to produce a film of this length. It's altogether in its entirety. It's 30 minutes. Yeah, and it took us almost a year to make this film. Yeah. And how much actual film did you have to shoot to make it into this 30-minute film? We shot about 5,000 feet of film and used about 600. So that it's a pretty bad ratio. But uh, it was really expensive, too. It was about $5,000 for the entire project. So we, we went a lot over budget. <laughs> $5,000? Don't, don't, don't say anything to my dad. <laughs> okay, um, your budget, what, what did you have to actually have to pay for to produce this film? I understand that a lot of amateur, you know, scenery and things like that can be made or found. What did you actually have to pay for? Well, we, we shot everything on location. Uh, we, you know, kind of avoided that problem by just going out and finding places where we could film these, these scenes, and, and that's what we did. Uh, this one scene in particular is with Dr. Wang's castle. It was an, an old basement of a garage, and it was like an inch of water on the floor. But we, we filmed in there because it looks like a, a castle. And uh, it was really stinky and smelly, and, but it looks good on film. How did you come up with the cast members? Were they friends or people? Mostly friends. The people who plays uh, the princess, Robin Rayborn, uh, a friend of mine, Dodd, who plays Dr. Wang, uh, met her at Blackhawk College. She goes to school, she goes to school. And she's, I think, Miss Blackhawk Valley or County, and she has a crown. And Dodd said, well, she's got a crown. She can be the princess. You know, so he asked her. Tight casting, huh? Yeah, and the first thing we filmed with her was her tied to a post. And she didn't know us. And the first thing we did when she came into that basement was tie her to a post for an hour and a half. And uh, she was kind of nervous about that. <laughs> she didn't know us. How did you do like the rest of the cast and did you ask certain friends to be certain parts or did you like come up with the ideas and everybody decided well I'll take this part and you can have this part and Right, that's about how we did it. Friends, that's about all we used. Um, how did you go about like the scenery and the costumes and things like that? Did you take and pick your own? Or? Uh, the costumes we got at the Salvation Army for uh, um, I play uh, one of the detectives and the other detective uh, we've got both outfits for about $8, Salvation Army and the shoes cost more than the outfits. <laughs> Okay, um, we're going to see a clip after you come back from this break. Okay. Uh, could you take and tell us a little bit, there's a lot of really spectacular special effects. Can you tell us a little well, bit about some of them? The one shot that I like is, is a, a moon shot, and you see clouds rolling past the moon. And in Close Encounters, they used paint into a uh, tank of water, and they used high-speed film. Well, I used milk. <laughs> and you can tell it's milk, but it, it looks pretty good. I'm okay. kind of proud of that shot. <laughs> Still have time for a pizza. What do you think? Sure, why not? intensity laser ray directly at the new Extel communications satellite. If he takes out that satellite, it would cripple the world financial market. Dozens, maybe hundreds of banks will shut down. Impossible! 
The market could be down 500 points one day, then up 300 the next. Good God. We're talking total financial chaos. There's only one man for this job. Get me 007. He's busy. Oh. Uh, then give me 008. He's busy too. 09. His wife just had a baby. What about 103? All the 100s are at six flags for a corporate retreat. 200s? No. Nope. 300s? Jammed. Then who's left? We have one agent on loan from Langley. They call him Agent 420. You called? <laughs> so. to destroy the satellite in space that controls all communication. Wait, 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 dude, hold up. <laughs> There's a satellite in space that controls communication? Whoa, it's blowing my mind. <laughs> right. Uh, the good news is we've pinpointed the exact location of Dr. Huang's laser. It's here. The table. No, this is a map. See. Oh, the, the laser's in the map. No, 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 look, look where I'm pointing, right right here. Oh, the laser's in your finger. No, no, it's located at this point on Earth. Oh, oh, gotcha. Wait, what? Just get to the Huang <laughs> secret layer and dismantle the laser, okay? Here's a briefcase with all the information you need. Just be sure it doesn't fall into the wrong hands. Oh, uh, cool. Wait, wait, who do I give it to? No one. Just get moving. Your flight leaves in 0800 hours. Godspeed, Agent 420. Right. <laughs> Agent 420, oh. we're supposed to catch an 8 o'clock flight. Uh, no, no, dude, you said, uh, 0800 hours. I got, like, uh, 792 hours to go. <laughs> Let's go, you'll catch the next one. Oh, okay, all right. What are you doing? I gotta crotch my stash, man, get past airport security. 420. Right, don't worry, man, I won't let you down. All right. And don't reveal to anybody that you're a secret agent! This guy playing hacky sack outside the lair. Yeah, he immediately revealed he was a secret agent. Uh, did, did I say that? I, I meant I'm uh, the pizza delivery guy. What should we do, Dr. Huang? <laughs> <laughs> what is so funny? Well, I just realized that your name is Dr. Huang. <laughs> uh, ha, 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 ha. But now, we have all the secrets. <laughs> wait, it is just two hacky sacks and a rain stick. Wait, wait, dude, don't touch that. You don't know how to use it. Whoa, you figured it out. <laughs> Good work, doctor. Wang. <laughs> That's it. Activate the razor! <laughs> What's that smell? Is someone burning incense? No, laser's burning my stash. Yo, what? <laughs> Crazy, man. There's like this satellite in space, and it's like beaming these signals into people's brain. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Hey, should we turn off that laser? Nah, sure it's fine. Cause it's all